Jen and Jared, this is the first time since before 2017 that the city's homicide numbers are below 20 at this time of year. Community leaders I spoke with are crediting this to a lot of hard work and positivity. I think it's amazing and we need to keep up what we're doing. Columbus police are reporting 15 homicides in the city year to date. This is less than half of the city's numbers at this time last year. I think it's the whole collaboration with everybody. I mean, the police department, different community organizations, we all just came together and decided to launch this initiative. Brenda Johnson is a part of the Mothers of Murdered Columbus Children. Her son James Johnson was killed in 2020. The mothers launched an initiative called Operation Under Triple Digits at the beginning of the year. If successful, this would be the first year the homicide numbers are under 100 since before 2017. I don't know what's working and what's not, but as long as we keep pushing forward, um, hopefully it can stay down. Johnson says they are following data and she is seeing changes. Lyndon has had two homicides this year um, and Hilltop has had zero. Means a lot to me because we focus a lot on Hilltop and Lyndon. So now we need to hit the east side and the south side where the numbers are raising now. She says a big part of the operation is showing up to those hot spots. Johnson says a lot of it is about perception. We support each other and um, the positivity goes a long way, I think. I reached out to Mayor Andrew Ginther to get a comment about the decrease. He sent me a statement which reads in part, even one homicide is too many. We will continue to address safety through enforcement, prevention and intervention. Johnson says the mothers will be taking operation under triple digits to the hilltop on Saturday. She says they plan to keep spreading the word and positivity and hopefully get through to more people. Local for you in downtown Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.